What is the purpose of whatever work you do? Everybody may answer differently. However, we have to accept that all are working for their livelihood. Man's basic needs are food, shelter and clothing. Among them, food is first. Man started collecting fruits and bulbous roots from his surrounding to satisfy this need. These sources of livelihood were not sufficient. Hence, he started hunting birds, animals and fish. Along with this, he consciously started caring for some animals and plants. As population increased, need also increased. Thus, there was an increase in commodities. Some areas had surplus commodities and other had a shortage. Thus, there was a need for movement of commodities. This was the beginning of trade. Various services came into existence to aid manufacturing, transportation and trade. All these works of man gave rise to various human activities. Chapter 3 Occupation Points to Learn Occupation 1. Primary Occupation 2. Secondary Occupation 3. Tertiary Occupation 4. Quaternary Occupation Learning Outcomes Learning Outcomes After learning this lesson, you will understand the following things. 1. Classification Occupations 2. Definition of Various Occupations 3. Characteristics of Various Occupations 4. Industries which include various occupations 5. Importance of occupations in human life Occupation Man's work to satisfy his basic needs and ever increasing wants is known as occupation. Today, man has new requirements. To satisfy these requirements, he uses different natural resources. He has to work to avail these natural resources. From these activities, he made goods, services and wealth which were required for his living. Human occupations help to complete the cycle of production and consumption. Classification of Occupation On the basis of nature and function of activities, they are classified as follows. Classification of Occupation Primary Number 1 Collection of forest product and hunting Number 2. Fishing Number 3. Livestock Number 4. Lumbering Number 5. Agriculture Number 6. Mining Secondary Number 1. Cottage industry Number 2. Small scale industry Number 3. Large scale industry Tertiary Number 1. Transportation Number 2. Communication Number 3. Trade Number 4. Services Quaternary Intellectual Services Primary Occupation Some activities of man depend on nature. Man works to utilize these natural resources and uses them as they are without much modification. These are called primary occupations. He obtains different types of products from nature. Some products can be used as they exist in nature or with limited efforts to satisfy his basic needs. Primary occupation also include gathering and usage of some products. Characteristics Primary occupation depends on natural resources. These occupations exist from ancient periods. They are fundamental occupations because other occupations depend on them. All occupations of man 
begin with primary occupation. Hence, they are basic in nature. Number of people in primary occupation is more in developing regions. Man's wages are less for his manual labor in these occupations. Distribution of primary occupation Distribution of different types of primary occupation depends upon natural factors of that area like geographical structure, climate, soils, natural vegetation, water bodies, etc. Let's have some information about primary occupation in Maharashtra. Number 1. Gathering of forest products and hunting. Backward tribal people like Warli, Katkari and Konkana live in the forested areas of Sayadri mountain ranges of Maharashtra. Bhils and Koraku live in Satpura mountains. Gons and Halbas are main tribes found in the eastern forested areas. These tribal people collect forest products for their living like fruits, bulbous roots, honey, medicinal plants, gum, mahua fruits, flowers, leaves, lac, wood, tendu patta, targolas, grass, etc. Some tribal people support themselves through hunting. Hunting is legally prohibited. Hence, it is not practiced as an activity. Number 2. Fishing Fishing is practiced in salt water of the coastal areas and fresh water in the interior of Maharashtra. The length of coastline is 720 kilometers. This coastal belt is known as Konkan. Marine fishing is the main activity of Konkan as there are limitations to develop agriculture here. Indented coastline, wide continental shelf, cooperative societies and government financial help etc. are favorable factors to develop fishing. The important fishing centers of Konkan coast are Dahanu, Vasai, Varsova, Mahi, Aliba, Murud, Janjira, Srivardhan, Dabhor, Ratnagiri, Malwan, Vengorle, Shiroda. Ghol, Bombay duck, pomfret, warm, surmai, prawns, etc. are found along the Mumbai, Thane and Raigad coast. Mackerel, Hyde and Pedave etc. are found along the Ratnagiri and Sindhuburg coast. Shells and Kala are collected from coastal areas and creeks. Rivers, ponds and tanks are used for inland freshwater fishing in our state. Stretches of major rivers are useful for fishing. Large number of ponds and tanks are found in Bhandara, and Gondia districts of eastern Maharashtra. In this region, tribal people practice fishing for their livelihood. Katla, Rohu, Mrigal, freshwater prawn, silver crab, etc. species are found in the fresh water. PC culture is encouraged under tribal development scheme. Fishing is developed with the help of cooperative societies. Short-term training of advanced technology in fresh water. Knowledge of fish farming is imparted to fisher youth. In many districts, fishermen from tribal areas are given training under special central government financial aid. It includes marine diesel engine and its maintenance, navigation, public aquarium, management, use of communication and fish finding equipment on fishing boats, fresh water composite, fish farming, Indian major carp, fish feed production and aquarium maintenance. Livestock Rearing of animals and birds for livelihood is known as livestock occupation. It is practiced all over the state. 
livestock and agriculture occupation are complementary to each other. Meat and milk are obtained from animals. Besides this, wool, bones, hide, etc. are used for manufacturing of different goods. Cow, bull, sheep, goat, buffalo, pigs, donkeys are reared in livestock occupation. Cross-breed cow like Jersey Holstein, Friesian and Fule Triveni are reared for milk in Maharashtra. Number of cross-breed buffaloes, sheep, goats is increasing because these cross-breed animals give more milk than indigenous animals. Government gives aid and financial help to buy and rear cross-breed animals. Poultry, ducks and emus etc. are reared for meat and eggs. In Maharashtra, indigenous breeds of cattle like Khilari, Dangi, Deoni, Gir, Red Khandari are found on large number. Some of the major programs, Yojana, implemented by Livestock Conservation Department are as follows. Number 1. Milk cattle distribution comes under Prime Minister package. Number 2. State level competitions of milk production for high quality, indigenous and hybrid cattle and buffalo are organized. The winner is awarded with Pashu Dhan Mitra. Capital is provided to Shahid Gowari Smriti Sheli Palan Sahakari Sanstha. Option Shahid Gowari Smriti Sheli Palan Sahakari Sanstha. Number 4. Cold storage facilities like boxes are provided to veterinary institutions. Financial aid is provided for establishment and control of small veterinary diagnostic centers at the wholesale level. Thus, life-saving medicines are provided to these institutions. Special subsidy is given for various programs like conservation and maintenance or indigenous species like Deoni, establishment and empowerment of poultry development boards. Maharashtra State has awarded Gopal Ratna Award many times at national level for its special efforts for livestock rearing. Number 4. Lumbering Different types of useful trees are found in the forests of Maharashtra. Forests in the plain area have been destroyed due to unlimited deforestation. Lumbering occupation has reduced because cutting of trees is legally banned. Farmers cut wood to make agricultural tools. Fully grown trees are cut to use for furniture, house building, paper production and fuel. Agriculture Agriculture is an important and main occupation of Maharashtra. Crops are grown in relation to physical factors. Agriculture is practiced in all the districts. In rural areas, 80 to 90 percent are dependent totally on agricultural occupation. Food grains, pulses, oil seeds and cash crops are grown. Area under cultivation and irrigation is increasing day by day. Per hectare production of sugar cane is comparatively more than any other state. Agricultural method, cropping pattern and per hectare production is improved after green revolution. Usage of chemical, fertilizer, high quality seeds and pesticides, irrigation etc. has increased. In modern agriculture, area under food grain is decreasing and area under cash crop is increasing. In Maharashtra, nearly 35% of agricultural land falls under rain shadow zone. Agricultural productivity of land is less due to mountainous area, 
Sayadri and Satpura. Less rainfall, drought prone areas and shortage of underground water. Till now, we are taking support from other states for food grains. Number 6. Mining The activity of extracting minerals from earth's crust is known as mining. Distribution of minerals in Maharashtra is uneven. In our state, mining occupation is practiced to extract manganese, iron ore, bauxite, limestone, chromites, dolomite, silica, etc. Quarries of laterite and basalt rocks are also found in some areas. Minerals like manganese, iron ore, limestone, coal, dolomite, etc. are extracted in Nagpur, Gondia, Bhandara, Chandrapur, Gadchiroli and Yavatmal districts of eastern Maharashtra. In the south, bauxite, basalt rocks and iron ore, etc are mined in Sindhudur, Ratnagiri, Kolhapur and Raigad districts. Local people are benefited the most from mining occupation. Secondary Occupation The occupations that produce useful commodities by processing the raw materials obtained from primary occupation are known as secondary occupation. The minerals obtained from primary occupation are more often not in desired shape, nature and quality. Therefore, it is necessary to produce these materials into a final product according to our requirements. Secondary occupation include all processing activities. Types of secondary occupation On the basis of size, ownership, and source of raw materials, there are various types of secondary occupation. On the basis of size, commonly there are three types of industries like cottage industries, small scale industries and large scale industries. Cottage industries are run domestically within the house and are mainly found in rural areas. Some small scale industries require some capital investment in the form of machinery, power and management. These industries are mainly found in towns. Large scale industries require heavy machinery, high voltage power, huge capital and large scale. On the basis of ownership, there are three types of industries like public, cooperative and private. Industries get raw material from agriculture, minerals, forests, livestock, chemicals and other industries. Characteristics The nature of material or commodities changes. Importance of materials increases. Utility and value increase. Economic, social factors and government policies affect secondary occupation. Large number of people are engaged in secondary occupation in developed regions. Distribution Maharashtra is an important industrial state of our country. Secondary occupation plays a vital role in economic development of the state. The distribution of secondary occupation is very uneven as shown in the map. Tertiary Occupation Service activities are tertiary occupation. In order to carry on production, the produced material needs to be distributed. For this distribution, tertiary occupation is required. Tertiary occupations provide all necessary services. They do not participate directly in the production, but they help in the development of production. They also help other activities. The main work of tertiary occupation is distribution of products. The main services of tertiary occupation are wholesale market, retail shopping, road, railway, 
water and air transportation, telephone, films, radio, television, banking, insurance, tourism, health services, school education, mason, blacksmith, carpenter, tailoring, kotwal, etc. Characteristics Tertiary occupations help in the development of society. Tertiary occupations distribute products to the customers in time where there is demand and thereby increase the value of the product. Tertiary occupations are found in urban areas. Number of people working in tertiary occupation is more in the developed regions. Distribution In Maharashtra, tertiary occupations are concentrated in cities of Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur, Kolhapur, Aurangabad and Salapur. In general, tertiary occupations are found in developed areas and in high density zones. Quaternary Occupation Human occupation are classified into three groups, primary, secondary and tertiary. Due to the development of science and technology, different types of services came into existence. That is why there was need to frame one more group that is quaternary occupation. These are special services created on the basis of intellectual activities. These are special services created on the basis of intellectual occupation. Importance of these services Number of people who are earning their living in these activities is increasing. In these services, imagination and thinking process is involved. Services of quaternary occupation are increasing to make human life more easy and comfortable. In these activities, research, science and high technology, information technology, medical science, technological field, administration and biotechnology are included. Characteristics These occupations are based on advanced knowledge and skill. They are necessary for the increase in production. For these occupations, capital investment is more. Quaternary occupation helps in the development of secondary and tertiary occupations. Income of people engaged in these occupations is more than the people who are engaged in other occupations. Distribution Quaternary activities are extremely unevenly distributed. Only selected cities have concentration of these activities. Maharashtra has maximum contribution in IT sector of India. In our state, high quality manpower, education institutes with high standard and infrastructure facilities are available. Pune, which is an education center, is known as an IT hub. Today, this city is known as a main center of information technology. In information technology, microelectronic system, broadcasting, television, auto electronics, etc. are included. This high technology is used in genetic engineering, energy sector, health pharmaceutical and transportation field. Availability of job opportunities is increased due to IT complexes. Computers became cheaper. Information about global markets became available for everybody. Different services have become fast. Huge treasure of information has been opened up.